I've said to you that the reason you don't stick to your resolutions and your goals and your declarations to be better and do better and become better is because you are emotionally weak. You see, we're all emotionally weak. It's the other side of the sword, so to speak, of the great gift that we've been given as humans, the ability to choose our destiny. We're the only species that has been given this choice, the choice to do less than our best. You see, every other form of life does all they can. Trees grow as high as they can. Squirrels store up as many nuts as they can. Bees make as much honey as they possibly can. Bulls reproduce as much as they can. Every other life form does all they can. It is only humans who do less than they can. The psychology that gives us this choice also makes us weak, emotionally weak. There's a phenomenon that Dr. Timothy Wilson of Harvard University calls the wet blanket syndrome. You see, the brain considers change very dangerous. Change is seen as a threat. Thus, the brain creates emotional resistance to change. If the mind can kill a great idea by dampening it with emotional turmoil, it will, which is often what derails you from your resolutions and your big goals. So since it's not intellect that we lack, but emotional strength, this is exactly where we need to hack and attack our weakness. You need to get emotional. And the most stirring and motivating emotion that we have is anger. Yeah. You need to get pissed. Stop letting yourself off the hook. Stop accepting, stop settling, stop breaking your word to yourself. If you're fat, get pissed. If you're broke, get pissed. If you're mediocre, get pissed. If you're scared, get pissed. That's it, no more. Draw a line in the sand. Say, I've had it. Resolve once and for all that this is it. No more, no more will you live like this. Indifference is a disease. You have to attack this. You have to get after it. The next best thing to prosperity is adversity. And it is usually adversity that finally stirs you out of a stupor to finally rise up and do something about your mediocre situation. You need inspiration or desperation. You need to ignite strong feelings. Stop being polite. Stop complaining. Stop excusing yourself. It's your freaking fault. You have done or not done what you know to do because you are lazy, undisciplined, lack self-control, and have acted immaturely. Own it and get pissed about it. You should be pissed. You have been given all these great gifts and capabilities by your creator, and you have squandered them by succumbing to weakness. With those awesome capabilities that you were given, the grand gift of choice, and this is what you've chosen to do with them? How does that make you feel? Mad? Mad at me for talking to you like this? Or mad at yourself for letting yourself off the hook and your creator down? Either way, get mad. You should be mad. Here's the bottom line. Stop pussyfooting around with your life. Buck up, grow up, and get after it. Muster up some emotional strength. Anger works and start doing what you know to do. No excuses, just action. No whining, no excuses, no complaining, no yeah buts. That hasn't worked for you in the past. So turn to anger instead. Use the negative emotion of anger to initiate the positive shifts that you need to change your life. So this year, make an actual resolution. Stop making wishes and just state what you will do. Draw that line in the sand and then shut the front door. Never go back there again. Lock the door and don't look back. Resolve that this is it. Only look forward. The new you starts right now the one you were supposed to be. The old you is over. All the excuses are gone. Your old stories are over. Decide right now. Never settle for less again. Resolve to become all, all that you can become. Hey, look, you think you have pain? Here's the worst pain of all. For you, for your spirit, for your inner potential, and to your creator, knowing that you are not doing all that you can. So let's go. I'll help you.